These are the kind of jobs I love to work. Down here at Propes Farm in Lincoln County, North Carolina, the owner, Ronald, needs a new well. Check it out. We're mining a different way today. Not technically mining, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to search every bit of that dirt that that ditch digger brings out. He's going through some of the old grounds that we used to dig. Some of the best corundum crystals came out where he's cutting this trench. Look at Ronald, already picking them out before I even get to look. Not being able to dig this area anymore and having some of my best crystals ever come out of here, I can't wait to see if this trench unearthed any good corundum crystals. There's the well he had dug. The first 15 foot was that red clay that we dig in. After that, it turned into this brown river-like sand. That went down to 85 foot, and then it turned into a granite. The granite was from 85 foot down. That's where they hit water at 235 foot, completing the well. I just look at the ground a lot differently after that. So I'm going to take you along with me while I fill in some of these trenches and we can see what we unearth. It's a lot of work, but I think this is going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully we pop out a few good ones. We both have really high hopes for this. So the guy with the ditch witch dug it about 15 to 17 inches, which is below the frost and the freeze line. So I'm going to start filling in and looking at what we got here. Hopefully we can find some crystals right off the bat. There's one. Look at that. It kind of dried up already. It's so hot today. Mid 80s, which is hot in this red clay, cooks the corundum crystal right off the surface. It was right under that grass. Yes, this might be a seriously good day. They're finishing up the line now, working his way down to his barn in the area that we park at. I can't believe we're really digging this. There's so much untouched ground this little trench is running through. Oh, hang in there with us. We're going to find a few today. I just seen Ronald in the corner of my eye pick up one, and he had a big smile. That's where we connected to the house. Got to dig an extra hole there. Let's wash off this one Ronald just found. Oh, yeah. I see why he's smiling. That's neat. Look, it has a little green center to it. I don't know if that's kyanite or corundum in the middle. That's a cool hexagon. Ronald showing off. I'm sweating. I got chapped lips. I'm sunburned. But I love what I'm doing right now. Slowly filling the holes. And then I'm going to screen some of the material as I get further up. Can't tell. So it didn't take long for me to break out the screen. I decided I need to classify it between a half inch and a quarter inch just to see if I'm missing any or what's going on here. This is the lower area right in front of his good barn. The area we don't get to dig no more. So I better fill in this dirt slowly and thoroughly look through it. So we first throw it up on the half inch. As you see it quickly falls through the half inch screen. I don't see any rock. So let's go down to the quarter inch. Now let's work the quarter inch. See if we can find any small crystals. Work it through these small holes. It takes a long time to get through this dirt. And it's been so dry down here. Everything's just a dirt clod. So what I do now is I just keep working all this area classify it down and pour it on the surface what I have left of my concentrates so that when it rains we're going to find more crystals if I don't catch them with my eye.
you really can't break these little dirt clods or clay clods or crystals up at this point. So I just work through the free dirt. And like I said, I'll just pour what I don't see on the surface and let the rain and nature do its work. But I'm starting to notice that when you find a crystal, they're starting to be pretty obvious. Literally, I think it's the heat penetrating through the clay and it dries the surrounding part of the crystal, kind of like hunting an Easter egg. Once you turn over a crystal, it's pretty obvious. And I don't really think I even need to screen this dirt. Look, see right there. Look how dry it is already. It's almost white. Holy moly, that's a cool crystal. Nice shape. Oh, we got to clean this one up. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I could see that color. When they get really gemmy, they seem to get a blue cap on them from here. Oh, wow, it's got blue running all the way through it. What a blue and red combo. Let's look at that one a little more. Look at the blue tips on that. That's a really nice crystal. I never dreamed of a better job than this. I got to get back to filling in these trenches. Let's see if we can find a few more. This saves a lot of time not having to screen them. Nope. Nope. This is the life. Yes, look at that hexagon. Hard as metal. No, nah, I don't think I'll keep that one. Let's keep looking. Filling in the trench. Filling in the trench. Look how hard that ground is. This is a weird one. Wow, look at the color. It's got some good light penetration going through this one. Let me see if I can get the right angle. There we go. That's that Propes color I love. Sunlight makes all the difference for bringing out the color in these crystals. Look at that pink color. That could make a beautiful cabochon. A little pink, a little perfect on that nice faceted side. Back to filling in the dirt. Filling in the dirt. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh, are you kidding me? I could dig all day and not find this. Thank you, Ronald. This is the best day of work I've had in a long time, and they are starting to add up. Look at that. So far, so good. I'm really happy with what we've collected so far. Better go find some more. I am actually completing part of the job, though. Believe me, I am filling in the dirt. Might be a little slow, but I am completing something. You do find other things beside corundum. This one is pretty cool. It looks bluish black right now while it's dirty. I'm pretty sure it's a neat little cube of magnetite or a chunk of magnetite. Let's see. I am correct. Too bad that's not a blue core to a sapphire. <laughs> Here, let me show you in the light a little bit. Sunlight makes all the difference. See, you can see there is some chunks of magnetite in the ground. This job's turned into a two-day job. As the sun sets and I go home, I can't stop thinking what tomorrow may bring. I even get to dig a little bit, so hang in there till the end. Starting off day two with a wish. 
kicking back and enjoying Mother Nature under the beautiful blue sky in western North Carolina. I know day two is going to be a good one. I just have that feeling. The first thing I noticed is how dry everything is. I went poking around with my screwdriver on the hard wall where the trench was and look at here. The first thing I find in the morning. My wish came true. Seriously, I cannot believe that. First thing in the morning. This crystal is phenomenal. Check it out with a little water and a little sunlight. Propes Farm, Lincoln County, North Carolina. Look at that color. Well, I'm clocking out now. My job is done. <laughs> Honestly, it's only just beginning. But I don't care what I find after that. A quality and color of a piece like that doesn't come often. As you've heard it before, treasure these pieces. They don't take much to clean. So back to where I left off yesterday. I got a long way to go yet. Looking at it now, this is either a digger's nightmare or a digger's dream. But the job got a lot easier and it wrapped up a lot faster than anticipated. Because of a corundum absorbs the heat, it dried out all that clay that surrounded it, which makes it so obvious when you move the dirt and see one. So I packed away the screens and just started trying to touch every piece of dirt and worked my way back to the house filling in the dirt. It didn't take as long as anticipated and you've seen the best crystals we found. We both were hoping to roll out one the size of a Coke can, but the trench wasn't much bigger than a Coke can in width. So after completing the trench job, I hung out with a subscriber of the channel, Dan. So he was just here for the day, and he made the best of it. We have to fill in our holes at the end of the day. So I offered to fill in his hole so I could poke around before we filled it in. And that was a good choice. But he sure got some good ones before he left. Nice formation to it, too. Yeah, it's a good shape. Looks like it's kind of purple. I like when they're rough like that. It gives them a better luster. That's a good crystal. I just found that just, just now. Good day at Probes. <laughs> So becoming one with the ground the last few days, I really got a good idea what's happening. But this is a great example for anyone that comes here and digs. Once you start finding a big rock or quartz, the corundum usually isn't far behind. I don't know if it's from the alluvial action of a river, which trapped that piece of corundum with the quartz, or if that's just where it deposited. But they seem to go hand in hand. That was way back up under there, so I kept tunneling my way deeper and deeper. I bet you didn't see this one. My karma must be good at the farm lately. This has been two great days down here. All I can dream about is more and more hexagons. And the deeper I trenched, the more I found. Check out the quality of this one. Surrounded by quartz. And like I said, usually when you start finding quartz rock, there's a good chance the corundum will be with it. I keep thinking ancient river. I may be wrong, but that well sure backed up that idea. There's some movement. Unearthing a beauty. It's easy when they have a nice faceted corner and you can see that luster and shape. They all don't look like this, so when you find them, appreciate them. And now to the grand finale. So I'm laying on my belly about three and a half foot below the surface. Trenched about two and a half feet below that. 
And look at here. It took some work to get to this one. Yes. All right. There it goes. It's a good one. Yes. Dig hard for these. Right out of there. That's where I tapped it. That is awesome. What a rewarding feeling. After completing the well job and finding beautiful specimens that way, and then to jump in a hole and dig out a treasure. God, I love Propes Farm. If you made it to the end, I want to thank you for watching. Special shout out goes to Dan. I really enjoyed my time digging with you. And, hey, we might be getting some rain, which will help out some digging down at Propes. The summer can be quite challenging. The ground gets really hard. So we need a good soaking to keep that clay moist so we can keep digging. But I got a lot of adventures planned for this summer. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. And good luck to all you rock hounds out there. Thanks for watching.